All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. We should be good to go here. So we are waiting on news currently. We had PPI come out already pre-market. Uh, came out bearish for these indices, which we are seeing this push down uh, right now with uh, market open. And then we've got consumer sentiment coming here in three and a half minutes. So that is what we're waiting on. And just to kind of frame where we are at, obviously we're below New York midnight. So uh, we are tapping into this uh, four hour breaker right here. So this breaker, we, we did point out as a potential level if we did see more bearishness this week. Um, these are kind of like the the last line of defense PD arrays for any sort of, you know, bounce for, for lack of a better term. Uh, where we could find support is would be right here. Uh, obviously, you know, looking at the weekly, um, we don't know yet how today's gonna finish off. Um, you know, I would say that my bias going into the week obviously was bullish. Uh, I wanted to see price respect this order block, respect this fair value gap, you know, in conjunction with one another, and then start working up. Obviously, that's been incorrect so far so where i felt like the weekly candle was going to expand towards was wrong um as of right now <clears throat> not that not that we thought that it was impossible for price to come lower i just didn't anticipate that which is why we ended up obviously getting clapped tuesday through thursday uh yesterday we had the right bias initially got stopped out by a little bit uh at break even um after hitting tp1 for CPI and then ended up trying to basically catch a falling knife a couple different times. Um, so that's, you know, my fault. I take full responsibility for that. Um, I think you could say that I was probably a little too married to the bullish bias this week. Uh, and I'm aware of that. I would say I was going to make a video on this today, but <clears throat> I think a lot of times, especially like when, when you, when you lose, you're on like a losing streak in, especially trading ICT concepts, smart money concepts. I think it's easy for, people to kind of lose trust in the strategies, the concepts. Um, and then the reality is the, the strategies and the concepts and the algorithm are never wrong. Uh, it's our application as a human that makes it wrong. Um, so clearly I'm applying things incorrectly uh, this week. And I think that has to do with kind of what my bias came from, from the weekly time frame. But, you know, we'll see how it turns out today. Uh, I would expect a TGIF uh, to some capacity. I don't know if we'll make another push lower during AM session today or not. Uh, that's why we're obviously waiting for news to come out. We got a couple minutes, well, one minute left on that. Um, and obviously we have SMT forming right now, currently at the lows on the smaller time frame. on the higher time frames, I want to point this out to you guys. So coming back out to this four hour, um, as you guys can see with this push lower, we've already taken out the Monday AM session lows. I just extended the line over from over here. This is the Monday AM session low right here. So we've taken that out now on NQ. However, that same low over here on ES is right. Um, where is it? Monday AM session. I'm on the four hour time frame now. Yeah. So the Monday AM session low is like right down here. Where the hell are we? Right here. <laughs> this is the four hour chart. I looked at it on the one hour. So you guys can obviously see that there's some SMT there, you know, in terms of where NQ is we've already taken out the low down here versus on ES we have not. So just keeping that in mind, I'm not going to mark it up or anything. Um, but what we're going to wait and see is obviously if we get another push lower, this news just came out, uh, or if this SMT does end up respecting and we get displacement up. Uh, I'm looking at it on the five minute chart right now. So if we get some displacement up, you know, then we'll scale into the smaller time frames and try to find our discounted uh, fair value gap for an entry. If, uh, if one is present, but we'll let this news play out. Let's see how it released. Pending still on Forex Factory. All right, this news come out yet on Forex Factory. <clears throat> All right, so doesn't show a number, but it's less than. So you guys can see your actual greater than forecast is good for currency. Therefore, if there was a color on here, it'd be red, <clears throat> which would be bullish uh, for the indices. And then this didn't even have a forecast, but it came out less than previous. Oh, these are just expected. I got it. Fair enough. But yeah, we're starting to see that displacement up off of this four-hour breaker. Um, I have these this nice lower time frame SMT with the higher time frame SMT kind of layered on top of one another, which is great. 
Uh, we would favor uh, ES for longs. <clears throat> Quite the gap here. Let's let this, uh, let's let these like two and three minute time frame candles close. Could even, we could even let this five minute candle close to be honest. Because then at that point we'll, we'll probably have a fair value gap actually here on the, you know, one, two, three minute. There's probably already one on the one minute. Yeah, right here. But yeah, and then in terms of like a target, um, basically really first target would be like these highs and then equilibrium of this range from uh, from yesterday. But ultimately, I think we could go attack TPI high. But yeah, so this week will be, you know, the first like real red week um, personally of the year. Um, and, I, and I do blame myself for that because I think, it, you know, yesterday, ah, I don't, we like, had we not been stopped out at break even, like I think yesterday would have looked obviously night and day different, you know. Um, because we we probably if if you're still holding you would have just held positions um and waited for a stop to get run out at break even but um which never would have happened but one thing I wanted to we'll go back and look a little bit later but I wanted to show you guys kind of the the correlation between uh there's a couple people on here that trade US thirty and they'll they'll love it because it's yesterday was actually the day where uh, for getting short early on in the in the AM session, um, Dow actually gave probably the cleanest setup where it wouldn't have where after you hit TP one and re and removed your risk, it wouldn't have came back and got you out. <clears throat> Nas and uh, and ES did, but we can kind of go over go over yesterday, just kind of hindsight what we did what we did right, what we did wrong. So just looking at these different time frames, pretty pretty obvious market structure shift at this point, guys. Right, so um, nice SMT here. Uh, let's frame this up though. I would like to uh, just marking up swing high or swing low to swing high. Equilibrium is right here, so this will help us with our risk reward as well. With this, as you guys can see, it's uh, it's not going to take much to have a, a decent stop loss. Um, there's no fair value gaps in here, even as we drop down in time frame. Everything's efficient. So there shouldn't be a need for price to return back down here unless it's going to just, you know, punch all the way through these lows and go lower. So I'd be fine with this. And then, like I said, we could look to, that's 24 handles. Where does this bring us right to this, these highs right here? 17, 20, yeah, that's pretty good. 17 and a quarter. Um, <clears throat> we got a little room to trail this up higher if we need to. May not need to though. Create limit order. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. All right, guys. So yeah, this is gonna be <clears throat> really the first trade. All the reasons for the trade. Um, obviously, we ran out sell side liquidity on NQ and ES. Um, <clears throat> we've got news now that just came out in our favor. Uh, but we don't really worry about that too much. And then right here, we didn't really get a market structure shift. More so right here when we took out this high with displacement. Right? So this is our this is our market structure shift. Our entry is in this fair value gap right at equilibrium. Um, stop below this displacement. Uh, and we got SMT at the lows as well as SMT on the... Uh, uh, higher time frames as well. But yeah, kind of always the rule of thumb <clears throat> that I like to use is on big ranges like this, you know, you have two options. You can either do it like this, you know, and just go off of equilibrium, or you could even get even more fancy with it. You could just straight up fib it up and go off of OTE which is even lower yet. <clears throat> My bites, guys. Looks like we're pushing. And let's see what this... But th this is the problem. Look at this. That's already seven handles. So I would do this gap because it's below equilibrium. Ooh. 
Oops. And uh, yeah, so then from here, let's see what we look like. <clears throat> you know, two options. You could be stingy with your stop loss, put it here. You know, I might just give myself a little wiggle room. Do uh, something like this. But yeah, kind of bites that uh, this didn't get picked up. That's how far away was this? Low of the candle is 7150. Entry was 6975. So 1.5. <laughs> 1. Okay, 1.75. Okay, great. Nice thing about this gap is it does line up with this order block. I mean, our original our original entry could still be in play. Now that this is OTE, got a you know fifteen minute potential market structure shifts. We'll see how this candle closes. I'm gonna delete this limit order for now, guys. So um, recap for a couple of you that just hopped on. We we're looking to get long inside this gap. Um, our entry was here because it was discount of this price leg. So it just missed us by one and a half handles or so. Look for a re-entry here. Didn't pull back. Yeah, guys, nice uh, nice SMT. <clears throat> Currently formed here on uh, NQ and ES. Here comes my dog. <laughs> What's up, buddy? All right, guys, uh, I am going to look to get long inside this gap. Can we get one more push down? I know this is quick. Um, my dog distracted me. Let's see if I get one more push down. Let me know if you guys took an entry. Um, one more push down I'd like to enter. Okay, bro, you're freaking out now. Chill out. Buddy distracts me and then gets the zoomies. Are you fucking kidding me? <clears throat> Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one entry on right now. Oh, fuck, dude. Come on. Pull back for me. Alright, so I'm going to do one right now, guys. Dude, chill. Holy fuck. You guys hear this? And I'm going to put one more entry on. If we can dig deeper into here, probably should do it like this now, just to save myself. I'm just getting in on the move, guys, because that that I probably should have just been entering here. Now I need to get it. Now I need to get a nice average. So my entry is 75. Yeah, I'm gonna need a nice average if I'm gonna enter again. Give me uh, one more here. One more push down. If I don't get it and we go without it, I'm just going to ride this one out. There we go. Ah, I like the best. That's okay. But yeah, guys, I, I'm long right now, if I'm being honest. Um, but I just have a rule that I don't I don't touch my stop. You know, I let I let my stop get hit. Um, and there's times where it does, it does turn around. You know, I just... Uh, I took the trade and I trust the analysis. I just let the analysis play out. You know, my stop is here for a reason. If I was going to close it early, then my stop even shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? So kind of the the discipline of just not giving a fuck what happens in here. You can tape read it and like form opinions still, which we are doing. But I just don't. I just don't press the button. I just let it do what it's going to do. If it's going to stop me out, it stops me out. But that's kind of why I have that rule of like just leaving my stop because if it was up to me, I would have closed it already thinking we're going to lose. So I'm actually, I do that as a way to like limit myself from like myself or save myself from myself. But I'm going to partial here, guys, at TP1. I'll do a little slight, a little slight partial. Which it just did. I just partialed. Okay, yeah. So you can partial here and uh, go break even if you would so so choose. So here's what I want to do, guys. I'm gonna do um, maybe right at these highs. 
I'm gonna do one by uh, selling it. Yeah, Amber's free. I'm gonna take. Oh fuck! It pulled back. I was gonna take another partial. Disregard for right now. I'm just gonna do one sell limit here, <laughs> and then another sell limit up here. Bang. Um, it's up to you if you want to leave risk on. You could. There's inefficiencies here for sure. Um, I'm kind of over it and done looking at charts. So, like, what I'm not willing to do is take a loss now. I'm not willing to let this come all the way back and run the risk of just stopping me out. That's why I'm removing risk. Because I'm, I'm not willing to lose money now. Oops, not 21. Came on, go grab her. Thank you. Now my average is lower. Very nice. I can give myself more breathing room. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm taking a partial right now, guys. I'm at a trader. We're good to go. Perfect. So TV one and two. This is nine handles so far. Pretty much an even one to two. I'm going to leave a runner on MetaTrader, uh, by the way, because depending on where this runs, I, I could I could make back all losses with some profit. This was very helpful, though, so far. I'll do another partial here, and I'm going to leave a runner, because if we rip today, <laughs> I'm fucking making money. I don't care what anyone says. But yeah, even if... um. You know, if it turns around here, we can stop that break even. You know, this will just kind of help pad those losses. Uh, I'll still be down on the week. <clears throat> Overall, it was, it was just a tough week, man. Tough week. Probably over. Probably took a little bit too many trades. Probably should have not done that, but still managed risk throughout each one, and each one did have logic behind it, so um, I can't beat myself up too much. So now, nice winner today. And, um, yeah, unless you can capitalize and really get a nice move today, which I don't know if we will. Um, that'd be the only thing that would really give us a chance if you're holding a runner. That's a big if. There's nothing wrong with, like, aggressively partialing profit, paying yourself now that you've capitalized on a nice winning trade. Um, and, you know, eating the losses, eating the little 1.5% you're down for the week. Just who gives a shit? But yeah, best case scenario is, so worst case scenario now is we can stop that break even. We ate up a little bit of our losses today. Fantastic. At least we get to feel good going into the weekend. Um, and then into a new week. <clears throat> and then best case scenario is we catch a little bit of a runner. And obviously my top step account will be just kind of like whatever because I'm going to get out here. Because I have you know, one contract partialed already, second contract, boom, at the main target we had in mind already. Um, so that's the plan there. Um, and then, yeah, maybe I get a little runner on MetaTrader and who knows? Never know, right? Could get, could get a nice little break above this equilibrium and big inefficiency here. And maybe we begin that, that hunt for that CPI high from high of day yesterday. Definitely don't think that's going to happen today, but yeah, if I could get a nice little expansion into this gap, that's another 26 points. So that would be all right. Still in profit on MetaTrader, so as we get close to zero, or if this taps, I'm going to get out. <laughs> out. Oh, all right, I'm going to close it. I still had a little bit of profit left, but yeah, I'm out as well. Um, yeah, I could bounce here. This is obviously an inefficiency that has all been refilled in. That's pretty wild, but looking at this, that's... That's something else. You shouldn't expect that. If anything, you should expect a small little capitulation slowly back down in here, rebalance and go. Um, I would probably, gun to my head if I had to choose, I would kind of expect this to just fucking dump. So, yeah, guys, nice little trade to end Friday. And uh, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know in the Discord. 
Um, but it's got to be really clear and something that I'm like 100% convicted in. And if there's not anything like that, then we'll just we'll take this into the weekend and come back next week ready to rock and roll. Okay, guys. So without further ado, y'all <laughs> back in. <laughs> um, have a great weekend. Be safe. Um, and if you need anything, as always, reach out. But yeah, have a great weekend, everybody. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Have a good one, guys.